Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning line on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the variable scope in C++. A scope is nothing but the region of a program. And the variable scope is nothing but the region of the program where a particular variable is available. In other words, we can say, you know, where a variable is accessible in our program. So normally in our program, we can declare a variable in three regions. One is inside a function and next while defining the function and next outside all the functions. So when we declare a variable inside a function and while defining a function, you know that variable is said to have local scope. And uh, if we declare a variable outside a function, that variable is said to have global scope. So when we declare a variable while defining a function, you know, as a function parameters, they are also called formal parameters. All right, now we're going to see about them in detail. So the next thing that I want you guys to teach is about the block of code. A block is nothing but or the region which contains some code. So in our programs while uh, defining the functions, you know, we were using this curly braces. Normally in C++ program, these curly braces are going to form the block of code. So now we're going to see what are these local variables and what are these global variables so as i told you before when we create a variable inside a function you know no matter which function it may be main or any user defined function that variable is said to be a local variable so here just for the demonstration purpose i'm going to create a function let's call it as void display and inside this function display i'm going to create two variables int a and b so these variables a and b are said to be local to the block where they are defined or this variable a and b are available only within this display function. So we can't use this variable a and b in this main function or outside of this display function. So here I'm just gonna do the function prototyping. So it's gonna be void display then okay nothing and to demonstrate that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna assign these variables with some values let's say 10 and b equal to 20 and we're gonna use c out and a then add a space then b and line i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna call this display function inside this main Okay, I'm gonna first save this and run this. So you guys can see we got 10 and 20. So now if I try to use this variable a and b in this main function, which is not possible, I'm gonna copy this and uh, paste it here. If I build and run this, we'll get some errors. So we got error logs. Okay, a was not declared in this scope b was not declared in this scope that's because this variables a and b are defined in local scope and similarly if we define this variable in this main function and if we refer them outside this main function or in any other function you know which also results in error and the next thing is about the global scope or the global variables a global variable is nothing but the variable which is defined outside of all the functions outside of this main function outside of any of the user defined functions so here just for the demonstration purpose i'm going to create a variable outside all the functions you know here after this function prototyping outside the function let's call it as x and now Okay, I'm going to initialize this variable to a value of 100. This variable x is defined outside of all the functions and that's why it, this variable x is available to all the functions defined here. So we can refer this variable x in our main function 
and also we can refer this variable x in our display function I'm gonna copy this and paste it here and I'm gonna call this display function in this main function all right build and run this okay we need to add a semicolon save it build and run so you guys can see 100 and 100 that's because you know this variable x is defined outside of all the functions and which is available to all the functions defined in our program all right the next thing is about the block so as i told you before whatever we write between two curly braces is considered as a block so here i'm gonna remove all these things and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable inside this block just remember this between these curly braces and let's say int p and we're gonna initialize this to 25 and i can't refer this variable p outside this block so if i refer this here it will result in error to demonstrate that i'm gonna build and run this so you guys can see here we got the error and if i open up the logs p is not declared in this scope so this is called block scope so in which block a variable is declared it is available in that block only okay now we have seen about the global variables you know which are defined outside of all the functions then local variables which are defined inside the functions and also we have seen the block scope or the variables defined in a particular block all right the next thing is about the default value of the local and the global variables so when we declare a variable globally or when we declare a variable outside of all the functions that variable will be automatically initialized to its default value so if your variable is of type int float or double the default initial value is going to be zero and if it is of type char then it's going to contain the null character or you know the end of string character and if it's a pointer then it's going to contain the null all right now we're gonna uh, demonstrate that to do that i'm gonna refer this variable ex inside my display function so since it is global we can uh, use it in main or display wherever we want and that's it i'm gonna save it build and run so you guys can see a value of zero and if the variable is local then at that time the variable is going to contain the garbage value so i'm going to cut that variable defined global and i'm going to put it inside this display function so now it is a local variable if i build and run this so you guys can see some garbage value so this is it guys this is about the local global variables and also the local global and the block scope in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com learning lad and if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to ask us and i'll see you in the next tutorial